Hey everyone, it's Lisa, and today I thought I would do kind of a combo video. I um, have this whole, and I hate to move it because I don't want to mix them up, but I've got this little cupcake box that Angelique sent me, and I've got them divided. These are all my nude lipsticks, or my favorites, and they're divided in like peachy nudes, or beigey nudes, or pinky nudes, brown nudes, mauvey nudes, and um, it would take a really long time to do that in a video. So I thought what I would do today is I want to show you some things that I've gotten from Laura Mercier, and I thought I would do just one little section of my nudes and do it kind of like a series. And these are the beigey nudes, like the true, just not very peach, not very pink, just, and they're not, you'll notice that Myth is not in here, and I didn't put Creme de Nude, or Flesh Pot, or Peach Stock, or any of those, um, because I feel like those get mentioned so much, but this is kind of along the lines of Myth, or Flesh Pot. So, and I'm not sure, I know this one is not available anymore, and I was lucky enough that someone bought this for me and sent it to me, Vicki, a long time ago, and um, I'll just start off with it, and it's just a beautiful lipstick. It's Estee Lauder Vanilla Truffle, and it's just a true, just beigey nude. And so what I'm gonna try to do is swatch these along my hands, and for the first time, I'm gonna try to take a picture of it and put it on my blog, and we'll see how that goes. So um, I'm gonna do a good swatch of Vanilla Truffle right here. And it is raining today. It's been raining all day, so I'm having to use my light. And you wouldn't be able to see this color a whole lot anyway. Um, let me hold it back here. But you can see it's just like a beigey skin tone. And when I, and it smells so good, I love Estee Lauder lipsticks. And it's so creamy. It's not like Myth where it makes your lips look real cracked up and you almost have to work with it. It's one that you can really put on, but with me, I usually need to wear either a gloss over it or a lip liner because it is, it will really um, almost mute out your lips. So, but if you like that look, this is definitely one of my favorites. It's one I would not get rid of. Okay, this is an Edward Bess and it's from the Book of Lipsticks. And so many of you have asked me about those. And I do wear the glosses a lot, and I do wear the lipstick some. About half of those are darker colors that I don't wear as much, but I, you know, I want to keep them because I might wear them, you know, for a party or something like that. They're just beautiful lipsticks, and I just can't bear to break up that set, you know, take all the lipsticks out of that beautiful box. So I have that box sitting on my vanity, kind of as decoration because you know I'm silly like that but anyway here's one of the lipsticks in there and the, the name, name is Nude is Lotus and it's really nude it's so pretty though let's put it right beside it's very silky so there it is beside the vanilla truffle so you can see they're very 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 similar almost almost identical I would say the Nude Lotus has a little bit less um, rosy or pinky tone to it. I really just, I love these. So I do recommend these. They are just, they're good lipsticks. They are very high quality, you can tell, very smooth. Okay, this, and I'm not exact right when I say this. If I were to tell you, if you were a person that has never tried really a nude lipstick, and out of every lipstick in this, Thing, this little cupcake box that I have here all different shades if I were to tell you to get one nude lipstick to start out with it would be this one and it is the Clarins nude number 122 Rouge Prodige this is one of those lipsticks that no matter what liner no matter what day it is no matter when I put it on no matter what I've had on before it I love this lipstick it is it has a texture like a lip balm it feels I can remember when I put it on that day, just like instant love, like rose amethyst. It is a beautiful color, and I really should wear it more because I really, really, really enjoy wearing it. Um, and it's another one, it's just so nude. 
that you're not going to be it's not going to be able to swatch very easy but you can see it's glossy and it's even a little bit more nude it has a little bit less of a it is a true skin color almost like a concealer but the difference is it has more of a balmy texture and it just goes on your lips so pretty makes them look so full and it just I don't know what it is I don't even know how to describe what I'm trying to say but it goes to the edges real pretty it's not um, too opaque but yet it has great coverage it's creamy it's not sparkly but it's not matte it's just I would have to say one of my all-time favorite nudes and that is Clarins nude okay in my hair I did not want to even bother curling it today because it's raining and I I'm getting ready to go burn my debit card up some more today. <laughs> I am trying to do as much shopping as I can. So, and on the way out, my mom just called. I have to go let her dogs out because they're going to be gone the whole day. So, right there, I know I'm going to get rained on some more. So, I didn't want to do any damage to my hair that was um, not worth it. Okay, so this is one that I just got. And it's number 37, Ipanema. And it's one of the Aqua Lemire's. I believe is what they're called from Chanel and it's very beigey now the difference in this is going to be it is very very ooh, very 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 sheer so if you're somebody that just wants a sheer wash of nude color I know this is just that's one reason I've kind of hesitated on doing this until I could get my blog together but <laughs> these are so nude they're just blending right in but this one smells good too. It's not real strong, but this one, um, this would be, it, unless you just particularly like nude lipsticks, it's not real frosty and it's not shimmery, but it's not matte. This is not one that I would probably wear. This as is much. one, I, especially probably if you're younger, maybe you're college age and you don't want to look like you have lipstick on, but you want a little bit more than a gloss, this would be a good one for you. It's just very, um, Let's see, it's right down here. Very just glossy, not a lot to it. Okay, this one I think may be discontinued. I got this at a Chanel event one time, and I believe they had put this on with natural lip liner, which is a brownish natural lip liner, and um, Beige Guitar was the glossomer, and I think Beige Guitar was a limited edition too. And it's one of my, this is, kind of one of a kind in my collection it is a true nude and I don't know if you can see it here but it almost has almost has a gray I hate to say a gray cast to it but it's very very different um, it doesn't have a lot of very creamy nice tones to there it on my hand and it's really one of those Kim Kardashian type colors you know how sometimes she'll put a, lip, a nude lipstick on it almost has it has a really really cool tone to it that's how this one is and yeah. um, so these would be my favorite if I'm going for a nude nude lip like even more than the you may be wondering why I don't have Lady Gaga the latest one I can't remember it, that one is a little bit more brown these are true just creamy nudes with not a lot of peach brown pink or anything in them so I hope that helped you out a little bit at least gave you a direction to look um, and you might be thinking, you know, what about Lancome, um, Rich Cashmere, or some of those that you think look like that. But I swatched every one of these. I had a swatch vest in my bathroom one night, and I was just swatching all of them to try to pick out my favorites to show you. And you would be amazed at ones that you think are beige, and they really have a, which really makes them better, they have like a, a rosy or a pink undertone or a mauvey undertone that really makes them a little bit more wearable but these are good to work with too with all different kinds of liners so um and you can see they're all very similar let's we'll see that the first one i did was vanilla truffle and then it goes to um let's we'll see then it went to did it go to the clarins nude and then it went to the Edward Bess, and then it went to the Ipanema, and then to Mythic. And you can tell that I like the glossy. And if I had to pick, I know MAC is um, more accessible and um, more cost-friendly, what am I trying to say? I don't want to say cheaper, 
less expensive, I'll say that. Um, yesterday, I had my Back to Mac, and that's what I got was Creme de Nude, because that is one of my favorite MAC lipsticks. And the last time I had it, I think I sent it to Gina, because I was just clearing out a bunch of our MAC lipsticks, and I have kind of missed it. So I did get another one of those. So I do like Creme de Nude, and I do like Myth and Peach Stock and Flesh Pot, but I kind of use those as a either to go over, like if I put on a bright pink or a bright peach, to go over it to kind of change the color or as a base. So that's that and I'm going to go wash my hand off real quick and then I'm going to show you what Laura Mercier, probably not Laura Mercier herself, but one of her, her company sent me to share with you and I have been just loving and I was going to try to wait till Friday but a couple of you, Karen Peep Jr. and a few of you have um, noticed that I've been wearing it early because I cannot help it and I've got it on today so I want to share it with you. I tried to take some, and I'll be just right now back. I tried to take some pictures so they would be in the right order and I did it several different places. I did it on my back porch, my front porch, in the kitchen so we'll see but please hang in there with me on the blog. I'm really having to learn. That's something I never really thought I would want to do but um, I think that it would be a good compliment to my channel because then I can put you know, pictures of things and um, just have fun with it. It's just kind of like another challenge that I am doing. So, okay, so last week or maybe week before last, I think it was right before Thanksgiving, I was contacted by a rep from Laura Mercier and they wanted to know would I like to try any of the holiday collection. And I was like, oh my gosh, you know, you guys know that I love Laura Mercier products. And so I was honest and I told them that I did already have the highlighter so they sent me some other things from their line and then they also sent me some things out of that collection that i just love and okay i'll start with one of my favorite things and that has been the eyebrow powder this is the not the light blonde but the deep blonde and i have it on today and i have had it on every day since i've gotten it i love it it is so much better than Omega because it is not, it's blonder without being, it's just a, I don't I even know how to it's describe it. It's got a little it. bit warmer texture. It's not as green or khaki type toned. I just love it. So I've been using that for the beginning of my eyebrows and then kind of finishing off with the darker color um, where they naturally are darker anyway. And I like that, if you'll notice, you can still see the hairs of my eyebrows and I know that a lot of people like to have a solid eyebrow especially if you have dark eyebrows I think you can do that a little bit better or if you're dressing up or something but on, on an everyday basis I kind of want my eyebrows to just look like groomed pretty eyebrows <laughs> happy little eyebrows but um so this it has a mirror and it's just love it and I was went on the website this morning in kind of preparation for this video and I believe this was in the 20s and it Notice is so that worth it. Sometimes I almost forget to even brush my brows out after I've done them because it's there's just no harsh lines. I don't have to really feel like I've got to really brush out any stroke marks or anything like that and I've just been using my Smashbox brush. So love it, love it and it's not hard to believe that I love this because a lot of you have told me I should try it. Okay. This was, when I did go look at the collection, I told her I would love to have this. This is the, let's see, Nail Lacquer Twilight Fall 2011, and I believe it's in the new holiday collection, and it's this nail polish, and it is gorgeous. I put it on last night, and I put Sesh Vite over it, but then I went to bed, so I think I lost a little bit of my Sesh Vite shine here, but I was so sleepy. <laughs> um, it is so pretty, and the best way that I can describe it is if you like OPI My Private Jet, this is the purple version. It is just, let me see if I can, it's, I don't know if you can see how it's got the shine, and it's got all the different sparkles in it. Um, it's hard to see right there, but I'll, um, maybe I'll get to do some pictures of this too and put on my blog. It's so funny being able to say that. I've heard that so many years and, you know, swatches on my blog. But anyway, um, it's it's really pretty and I really like it. It's my first Laura Mercier nail polish. So that's really pretty and I love the dark purples. It reminds me, if you like the black amethyst, the one I had from Estee Lauder, it's that similar type color where it's so purple it's almost black and I love it. 
Okay, these I believe are from just their regular collection and I wore one of these yesterday and I wore the platinum because I remember that it kind of shocked me in a good way. I've had one of these a long time ago when Laura Mercier was sold here at that little boutique that I go to, the makeup boutique, it's actually where I get my hair cut now. They had Laura Mercier and then I think Laura Mercier pulled from boutiques and went to only department stores, but I had Alloy. And I might get that again because I can remember really liking that. And when I was, when I get to going through my makeup, sometimes I just get rid of stuff and I want it back again. But this is called Platinum. And when you think of Platinum, I think of Platinum. I think of a silver, almost white silver. But it's not. It's a champagne type color. And yesterday I used it all over my lid as a base. And I'll swatch it for you. Comes out just like a, you know, oh, it feels so good comes out just like a um, what am I trying to say paint better than a MAC paint because it doesn't keep coming out see it the MAC paints are crazy they're like they're possessed they keep coming out and um, you can see it's just a shiny shimmery color and I actually like it a lot better than the bear study and the makeup forever and definitely better than the kitten you can tell that I've been through a few of these I really like it. It did not crease yesterday and it was a beautiful base and you can see how you can just really really smooth it out to where it's not like a sparkly mess. It's just a nice shimmery base and um, so and I'm just you know showing these to you. It'd be good if you could go to a to the Sephora that I don't have or a Laura Mercier counter and try them out you know just to see make sure you like them. And then the other one I haven't gotten a chance to try yet, but I have all ideas that I'm going to like it because the name oh. of it is Rose Gold. Maybe some of those Chanel pots. Look at that. That is gorgeous. Hmm. It's a little bit darker. has a little bit more depth than the highlighter does. So this would look good on the eyes just like all on its own with a maybe a thick winged liner and false lashes. That's really pretty. I'll try to wear that soon or under a cranberry eye or something or just with, I know, just with uh, maybe a light pink on top of it and I'll show you something that would go good on top of it. So that's really pretty. And you can see how much they just thin out. They're not goopy and, or um, thick. The bare study just made my eyes look real crepey and wrinkly and we can't have that. <laughs> so anyway, that's these. Okay, then they sent me the little, and I saw these on the website, it's the little glosses that they have, and this is like a little kit, and it's all the bare glosses, and it's bare naked, which is a real pretty, like you would think, you know, what can I compare it to, just a real creamy, underage, not, is it, no, see-through from MAC type color, just a creamy, and they're sheer. This is bare pink. This is the one I've worn the most, and this is the one I have on now. I started out with a darker liner and a peach. It's Le Maitier liner with Le Maitier Miami over it with um, another Le Maitier lipstick over that, and then this gloss. <laughs> That's how you get a good lip is you have to mix a, a bunch of things. And um, this is bare beige, and it's very beigey. This would probably, I have to compare this to some other glosses. And then this one is Bare Blush. And it's a little bit darker. This one will probably have more color. And I haven't tried this one yet, but I will. I'll, you'll see in the description bar when I wear these. So really, really pretty, creamy. Um, <laughs> sorry. Not too opaque. Very, very wearable and smooth. Her lip glosses are real that real smooth, not sticky at all. Just like a cream shade. This or something is the like Laura that. Mercier so. Baked Eye Color Palette and see okay the difference the in the big big difference i see in laura mercier's kits and these palettes that is so different and so much better than most other companies is she puts real her normal real colors in here like i have i'm pretty sure i have ballet pink so now i've got all these colors instead of having to go get every one of these separate she put the real colors that she has from her original collection in here. And you can see which one I've used. I believe it must this? be Pink Petal. Yeah, Pink Petal. And um, 
So I haven't used all the rest of them, but of course there's a lot of fallout when you're doing it because it's mineral. And it is shimmery, but it's not crazy shimmery. And it is just gorgeous. Every one of them is gorgeous. And let's do a little... That's the so lilac. This is the... I don't know if this is worth it or not. Ballet this Pink. Is this is the one I have, and I love this one. Ballet Pink is my Terracotta. favorite. Terracotta. Oh, that is gorgeous. This is one that I was going to get because I think it'll look good with um, blue eyes. And just this all by itself with thick liner and lashes. Oh, that's going to look Sienna. gorgeous. And that is beautiful. So you can see that they're, even though they're the mineral and they look sparkly as anything, they do have a good finish and good color payoff. So look at those. Those are beautiful. And the Ballet Pink is one of my favorites. I've already told you guys about that. And it comes with a nice brush. I have not used this one. Always, I don't know, even if the brushes are good, I don't know why I hesitate to use them, but I probably should. This is the Eye Color and Cream Eye Detail Brush. Huh. And the quality looks excellent. It's not like a little Bobo pitiful brush. Oh, this is. I've got this brush. That is exactly like it. I've got that brush. Huh. That is so neat. So that is a nice brush. So I'm not sure how much this is, but wonderful. If you ever looked at their little round shadows that are baked, this, like you get all of them instead of having to buy each one for $25 or whatever it is. So we it love that. is the Lux Eye Portfolio Holiday 2011. And it comes like this and opens. And I've got the little sheet on there because I don't want my shadows getting messed up. And this is how it looks and it's gorgeous. So all those shadows and these three brushes, and these are not cheesy little brushes. These are her normal brushes that she sells. So the first one is the smudge brush, which I did not have, and I have heard so much good about Laura Mercier's smudge brush. So I think I did use this. I think I used this to smudge out Stila Onyx the other day, because that, boy, that liner just, whew, it just goes all over the place. I had to kind of try to control it. This one I've heard of and I didn't have, and it is this, oh no, it's not this one, but this is the crease brush, and it looks like an excellent crease brush. It's not too um, pointy, not too big and fluffy. It's similar to, I would say, it's like a big fat 219, but similar to like a 226, so it would be perfect, like for the outer V. And then this is the one I've heard of and I've never tried. It's the um, ponytail brush. This one would be more like a good blending or when you want just a light wash of or a big crease color, you know, when you're really blending out and you don't want it to be too precise. So, I mean, these are three a lot of good sets brushes. Put out a, even Urban Decay, you know, you'll get a few basics in there and then there's a lot of just randoms or whatever. These are all her shadows. Like I've actually, the one I wore yesterday, which was Sable, I've got that one and it's right here. It's a real pretty gray that stays gray. It doesn't turn blue on me. Um, this is the one that I started out with today. It is gorgeous. It's called Morning Dew. It is a perfect matte all over color. It's very similar to the matte pink that I used from the Too Faced matte eye palette. Um, Rich Sienna, Rosewood, uh, Royal Gold is beautiful. I used that one yesterday too. This one is one, you can tell I've been using these. I've been using this one every day and it's called Golden Cream. Um, Sparkling Night, I used that um, underneath my shadow, um, under lashes, underneath my lashes, over top of the shadow one day and I can't remember what day. Um, mica, I don't think I've used Mica yet. It's a sparkly silver. And then today I used African Violet, which is this one right here. And that's the only thing I've got in my crease. And I think it is perfect for a day like today when I just want some something on my eyes and I just want some accent in the crease, but I don't want anything over the top. I just wasn't feeling it. And the girl that works at my Laura Mercia counter, she's the counter manager. She has blonde hair and blue eyes, either blue or green eyes, I believe. And she always says that she wears African violet. And I just never got it because I felt like, oh, I have so many purples, but I love it. It's just a really good color in pink crystal, black coffee. Let's see, sparkling night, fig, just beautiful colors. So, oh, what I'm putting on? 
I don't know why. I don't know if I'll keep putting this plastic, but I have been just to keep them fresh and new. And then here it is in your set. So this, if there was anything you could travel with that would be great, it would be this because you have all of those brushes and all of those shadows for so many different looks. And um, so I just love it. So I believe that was it. And they were very generous and say thank you so much, uh, Laura Mercier. So for I think that. that's it. I will let you guys go. I'm going to do a quick out for the day and go try to do a little bit more. I'm hurrying. I don't think I'm going to be finished with my Christmas shopping by December 1st. But I've put a pretty good dent in it. So I'm going to go out and do some more today. And, and today um, I'll I be have right back. on this Wild Fox sweatshirt, as you guys saw the other day in my pre- Black Friday haul and it's on Wild Fox and this is the one that they said was long enough to wear with leggings and they were right and it is so just cuddly and just full and everything so I just put on something simple I put on my Zella leggings which are very oh they yummy feeling they're just um, they're more athletic -y feeling than the INC but I kind of like that because then they're real plain looking and then these are just my Nine West boots that I got a while ago. Then for accessories, I have on these earrings that are Jessica Simpson. And you guys might remember I got these on sale. Gosh, I think half off and then more off of that. And I love them. They're just, they have the rhinestones. And then this little thing I like because it stays in place. And um, I'm really hating that my hair looks so bad, but this is the real me. <laughs> This is a fossil ring that I got years ago. You guys might remember if you've been with me a while, and it's um, fossil, just a little butterfly ring, a little one, and wedding ring. Um, I threw on this little necklace just because I thought it was kind of silly, just like the sweatshirt. This Something is the Laura different. Mercier polish I just showed you, I think Twilight. Um, I have on the blush colored fossil aluminum watch. So I hope you guys have a great Tuesday. I'm going to let you go and um, maybe I'll see you tomorrow. I'm not sure. I'm going to the nursing home to see my grandmother tomorrow with my mom. So I don't know if I'll have a chance. But if I do, I'll do another section of those nude lipsticks. See you soon. Bye-bye.